Welcome back with us. You probably remember a school nurse. Maybe they helped you when you were sick at school or gave you some medicine. Yeah, or even some comfort. You know, research shows that uh, they also keep kids healthy. That way, the students can stay in school, in class, and learn. But our 13 Investigates reporter, Sarah Putman, learned now that there are some school districts right here in central Indiana that just don't have enough nurses to go around. I reviewed data from more than 20 districts here in central Indiana and discovered only about half have the recommended number of registered nurses. Are you guys discussing over here? What are we coming up with? At Center for Inquiry 27. Are you doing okay? Let me check yeah. her temperature. If you go to the nurse's office, you'll find Tamika okay. Gerard West. Here's some water. Drink it all. I got the opportunity to become a school nurse and I took it and I love it. This is her first year in the school. Before, she mostly worked with older people. What's different about your job here at a school compared to your job at the memory care facility? I get noticed, like as a nurse, like I feel like everyone in this building has to count on me. I came down to the nurse's office. School nurses handle scrapes, bruises, and are often the first to spot a serious illness in the community. There's a school nurse in this office every school day. Tamika only has to cover CFI 27, but that's not the case for other school nurses. Some, including in other districts, have to cover multiple schools. The state recommends one registered nurse for every 750 students. 13 investigates reached out to districts across central Indiana. Of the 25 that gave detailed information, 12 or 48 percent did not meet that goal. Many districts report even if that's the case, they do usually have one nurse or at least an aide in each school. We compiled these numbers ourselves because there's no comprehensive look. Even the governor's public health commission pointed that out. It's a problem so we can't necessarily always fix a problem if we don't know the exact data that is out there to support. Data to help Indiana decide if it needs to put more resources toward nurses, supporting schools and children. So how do districts get more nurses in schools? We'll take a look at some suggestions from that commission and what nurses told me are some of the biggest obstacles to fixing this issue. That's coming up at six. Sierra Putman, 13 Investigates.